Hello, my name is Jim Luzar. I'm Extension Educator and Agriculture and Natural Resources with Purdue Extension Beagle County. Today we're talking about the issue in the Wabash Valley area of the tulip tree poplar scale. The tulip tree, the state tree of Indiana, has been besieged in the recent weeks with the uh, tulip tree scale, an insect that overwinters and because of the mild winter we had in the past winter, uh, the population has survived more than normal, giving us a situation where we have a substantial amount of sap feeding damage from this insect. Now the discussion today is about control methods and if the insect is of substantial numbers uh, on a tulip poplar tree, also magnolia trees will be affected by the tulip scale insect. The uh, appropriate method is a systemic insecticide and so products, if you're looking at the store uh, for a product for the insecticide treatment, right now what we're recommending is a systemic insecticide with the active ingredient and you'll be looking right there on the label for the product of the active ingredient and imatocloprid is the active ingredient that we're, that we're seeking to control the tulip tree scale. So the solution as far as a drench, and, and we're going to show and demonstrate how to operate a, a drench application, is very simple. But the first thing we have to do is know the amount of product that we need. Now the label, reading the product label, we always recommend reading the product label, suggests one ounce of material per inch of circumference of trees of the tree at four inches. So we have to have a, a tape measure, and we'll take a quick measurement here. We'll look at this, this is a tulip poplar at four feet. We'll measure and calculate the measurement right at 10 inches. So we have a 10 inch circumference times one ounce per inch of growth. So we'll need 10 ounces of product. We need to, we need to measure that 10 ounces accordingly and then put it with a gallon of water for a tree, like this tree, for example, we would be putting in a gallon of the solution in a gallon of water, and a tree that's larger, we'd be mixing that solution with two gallons of water. Now, the drench application is important that we concentrate, and the systemic activity will be the, the material will be absorbed by the roots of the tree and then taken up through the vascular system of the tree to provide control. We cannot do a topical spray and spray an insecticide right now on these scale insects and have any efficacy. And so what we have to do to start out with a drench is pull back mulch, make sure that we have the mulch away from the tree. This is an insecticide, so it's not gonna damage if you have a flower bed next to the tree, uh, any kind of ornamentals like hostas, for example. And then we'll be applying the drip with the solution, insecticide and water, and we'll be applying that material and once we apply the material, uh, it probably wouldn't hurt to go ahead and, and do a watering. We're, gonna, we're in, especially in the dry conditions. So that's a drench ap application. The systemic activity, again, will cause this tr tree roots, and most of these tree roots, they're in the top eight inches of the topsoil. So they will actively move this product up through the tree, out to the outer limbs and twigs, and provide control then of this insect and we're not talking about maybe perfect control, we're talking about suppression, but the problem we're gonna see with this insect with tulip tree scale is when we get into July and early August, these insects will multiply and the new offspring will also begin feeding on the tree, sucking sap, and then the uh, situation will be even more stressful for the tree. Uh, in terms of treatment, again, one treatment should provide a season-long control of the insect, and then hopefully in the, in the winter of 2012, 2013, we'll have an, a colder winter and we'll knock out a lot of this population and they won't be overwintering. Again, with questions for this application uh, of a systemic insecticide, a person can contact the Purdue Extension Vigo County office at force, area code 812-462-3371.